girls, welcome back to Glam Me Up. Today I'm doing a really exciting tag video, and that's what's in my purse video. I have had a lot of requests to do this, and I've been wanting to do it because I think they are fun to watch. Um, it's just something neat, seeing what people carry with them and everything, because everyone's different. So mine's not going to be too exciting, it's probably going to be really boring. Um, I keep a lot in my purse, and I haven't cleaned this out or anything, and I need to clean it out, so I figured this would be a good time to do it because then I can just empty everything. So this is my bag that I have, and I showed this probably about a year ago, or maybe it was around Christmas. I don't even remember when I got it, but I just recently switched back to this for the spring and the summer season because it is white, and I was carrying the little miniature black sequin one that I got from Target. I love that little bag for the winter time, but I like to carry more of a bright or a nude color for the spring and the summer. And of black. So this I actually got from JCPenney and the brand is um, Worthington. So I think that's one of the brands that um, is pretty popular at JCPenney. They probably have it like at Belk and stuff too. But it's just a bright white um, fake leather with a big bow on the front and then the shorter um, satchel handle. So I really love this bag. It's a perfect size and it's very organized or it has a lot of compartments to keep you organized. and. It's pretty comfortable to wear on your shoulder. You would think with being such a short strap with a big bow, it'd be uncomfortable, but it's actually not. I really like it, and I kind of missed having a big bag when I had the smaller bag in the winter time. so I really love having one that's this size. Not too big and not too small, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. I don't want this to be too long. I'm trying to make my video shorter, but that's really difficult. So I guess I'll start off with my wallet, and this wallet I actually got back in the winter time and it went with my old purse, um, the sequin purse, and it's got dog hair on it, that's cute. So this I actually found at Target. It's super shiny and glittery, and it's one of those little um, tab closures, which can be annoying if it's too full, but that kind of encourages me to clean out my wallet and like throw away receipts and stuff, so I just have a bunch of cards in there, you know, the usual, and a bunch of receipts and coupons. I'm like a coupon junkie, I'm crazy with coupons. Um, just like rewards cards, hardly any cash. I have like six dollars in cash. I'm terrible about carrying cash on me. I just keep a card most of the time. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting. But if you're interested in this, I'm sure they still have it at Target or they have some similar to this where they're the little closure. And I want to get a different one for spring, maybe like a floral print one or something. But um, this will do for now because I don't want to switch back to my old one because it's kind of beat up and stuff. So um, this has been really good and durable. It's lasted me all season of winter and it's still is in good condition. Some of the sequins come off every now and then, but no big deal. Then I have a ton of coupons. I'm just going to start throwing these out. I'll just skip the boring stuff. So then I have my sunglasses, and I got these at Dillard's, I think. They're just in a little pouch thing. And ew, they're really dirty, but this is what they look like, and they're by Rockaware. So they have the little Rockaware emblem right here in a little like quilted detailing and then they're like a square like shape. I like the shape on my face a lot because they're not too big and they're not too small. I feel really weird wearing these inside. But yeah, that's what they look like. This is going to be totally random guys. I have a little tiny brush. I don't even use this. I guess when my hair is straight I did use it a little bit but it's one of those little miniature travel brushes. Receipt. CVS receipts. They're all going to be CVS receipts because that's where I spend my life. Lots of CVS coupons attached to them. Grocery list. That's very exciting. That's my boyfriend's scribble on there for what he wants to eat. An envelope of more coupons. Gas receipts. Walmart receipts. This is why I needed to clean this out. Oh, here's something kind of exciting. A little coach um, wristlet thingy. Not wristlet, but I guess it's like a little coin pouch. And I actually use this to keep my iPod in. I don't even know why I carry my iPod. I don't even really listen to it that much. But I just keep it in here for headphones and stuff. It's just the little pink... Um, I don't even know what generation this is. I don't know. I keep my music on my phone. So I just carry this with me just in case. But it's just a little pink one. And then my little headphones in there. Who's calling me? So it just has the little um, key ring thing if you want to just take this and you do a store. I would recommend getting these little things if you're younger and you don't carry a lot of cards and stuff. You can just keep like an ID and the money and just take it in with you to a store or when you're shopping if you don't want to carry a lot of stuff. So those are nice for stuff like that. My fishing license. That's embarrassing. Pet smart. I have 
have a phone charger for the car. I keep that with me because the phone's always dead and I just dropped it. But it's always dead and I never know where I'm going to be or whose car I'm going to be in, so it just sounded really weird. My point is, I keep that with me for when I'm traveling. If I'm riding with someone else, my phone dies. Tons of pens and pencils. I just went to my last exam for my semester, so I have like pencils in here. Normally I don't keep pencils in my bag. Um, random pens from the bank. Gosh. I think it's Abdul. I have these little floss thingies. These are like the samples they give you at the dentist. I just keep them in my purse because I do use these a lot, the little floss picks. If you want to check out my dental routine, definitely check that out. I talk about these little flosser thingies. Pack of tissues. That's nothing exciting. I have this little thingy to clean. I keep saying thingy. I have this little cloth thing to clean your glasses or your phone screen with it because it doesn't scratch it up and I'm always like obsessive about cleaning my phone screen or my sunglasses so I keep that in my purse. Oh one thing I forgot was my phone. I guess do people usually show their phones in this video? I just remembered it because I was tweeting a picture on Instagram about what I just filmed so I remembered to show my phone but nothing special. It is the um, HTC Thunderbolt by Verizon. My little locker screen isn't that cute? It's a go locker screen. I think it's so cute with the little flowers. And this is what my home screen looks like. Really bright and colorful. Would you guys want to see a video like what's on my phone? I think that's really interesting to see what people have on their phone. I mean mine's like nothing special but I just think those are really cool to watch so let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing something like that. I have an EOS lip balm. This is the sweet mint one. I think I love this one. I plan on doing an EOS video very soon. I have a Revlon Lip Butter in Sweet Tart, and I just keep this one with me because it's my favorite one, and it's just a light pink color or a hot pink color, depending on how you layer it up. So if I ever forget to put on my lipstick in the morning at my makeup table, then I have it with me in my purse if I just need to apply something that will go with everything. Then I have a bunch of those little Andes mints from Olive Garden because I love mint chocolate. Then I have a pack of winter fresh gum. That's nothing exciting. I don't, I'm not a huge gum person and I like really minty stuff, so I definitely like winter fresh. It's classic. Another pin. A checkbook that keeps having coupons fall out of it. Oh my gosh, you guys should see my table right now. I told you this was going to be boring. More grocery list. Febreze, candles, soup, soup, soap. <laughs> okay, so that is all from these compartments right here. And then it has this big zipper thing right here. So I like to keep stuff that I don't reach for a lot in here just to keep it like safe and separated. So I keep a little makeup bag in here. Um, not really a makeup bag. This is more of just stuff I want to keep confined, it seems like. But I do have some makeup things. I don't keep a lot of makeup with me. I think it's kind of pointless to carry your makeup. I mean, powder and stuff is one thing, but I don't keep like everything that I'm wearing on my face in my back. I just think that's pointless and a waste on my shoulder. I even take this out a lot and just leave it in my car when I go in places. I don't even know why it's in here now because I hardly ever even go into this unless I'm going to be somewhere like all day or something where I might need to touch up. So, um, yeah. So I have a really old handy bag, antibacterial hand lotion from Bath and Body Works. This is the Winter Candy Apple. You can even tell how old it is because that's an old scent. <laughs> Um, then I have a little hand sanitizer from CVS. It's just a sun blossom one. Carmex lip balm. This little set of brushes that I got at Walmart just for touch-ups. Um, they're really terrible. These are like paint brushes. I might as well throw these away because they're really dirty and gross. I don't ever use them, but <laughs> they're basically the texture of paint brushes. I don't even know why I got that. A L'Oreal True Match Powder or Compact Makeup in Neutral, Natural Buff. This doesn't even match me and I don't use it. But yeah, it's just like a cream foundation that is in a compact form. So if I need to touch up like something that is showing through, um, I use it occasionally. So got a little nail file. A Maybelline Baby Lips. This is the grape one. I hate this stuff. I might as well just throw it away. I hate the scent of it. I can't even wear it. Like, ugh. I don't even know why it's in there. 
hair ties, another little miniature brush thingy that has hand lotion all over it. That's gross. Um, a Sephora eyeliner or a Sephora mascara, just a little mini travel size to touch up. And then one of these little makeup remover pens. This is like, this is really dirty. I need to wipe this stuff off. It looks like my lotion leaked all over it, so I'm not even going to show that. But I have another one in my vanity if you want to see it. Here's a clean one. This is the Revlon Makeup Eraser Pen. It's kind of neat. I got these like as a little sample thing and not as a sample, but it came as a free gift when I bought like an eyeliner or something. But it's just a little marker thing and it has makeup remover in it. So if your eyeliner ever smudges or something, you could just clean it up with this. But it does leave a little bit of like a oily residue that you have to wipe off. So you kind of need a Q-tip too if you're going to use this. But then I have a little black eyeliner. I think this is from e.l.f. I put like my crappy old makeup in my purse because if I ever need it, I'll have it. Like if I were to um, forget to put something on, which I've done before, I forgot to put mascara on my lower lash line and walked out. With, but I had like an extra mascara in there so I could touch it up. So that was good. I have a pair of tweezers. I don't even know why this stuff's in here. I don't even use it. Um, a little disposable spoolie, like to come out your eyelashes if they get clumpy. A little mini hair tie. Um, some more floss regular floss and then a little thing to open your phone case with <laughs> so random it came with like one of the phone cases like that it's like a little tool thing to open your phone case because so, my phone used to die all the time and I would have to reset it and I could never get my phone case off without breaking it so I just kept that with me so that's all I had in this little clear pouch thingy then I have a little pill pack thing I just put um what is that well, it doesn't do any good if you have pills in here. You don't know what they are. I think it's probably allergy pills. Yeah, that's what it is. I think it's clear because I have really bad allergies and I always forget to take my medicine. So, then I have an EOS hand lotion. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I tweeted a picture of this when I got it. I love this stuff. It's like the cucumber, cucumber melon scent. It's delicious smelling. Oh my gosh, I could smell this all day. Even my boyfriend loves this, and he doesn't even like really smelly things. So little hand lotion that's so cute so that is everything out of here now i need to go dump the junk out of the bottom it's so light without all that crap in there so that is all the junk that was in my purse that should be what the title of this video is the junk in my purse because so that's pretty much what it is so i'm sorry if this was really boring but it was a requested video so i thought i would just go ahead and show you guys maybe you'd be interested in it i don't know Leave me a video response if you have a What's in My Purse video because I'd love to watch it. Or you can just tell me what your favorite things to carry in your purse are in the comments below. I think I really need to revamp what I keep in my purse makeup bag because that was just terrible. <laughs> but anyways, more information and stuff will be listed on my blog if you want to check out where you can buy this. I don't even know if it's still available. I did get it. It probably wasn't a year ago. It was probably a few, like... It was probably back in the fall, I think. No, but if it's still available, I will have it linked on my blog, or I will find one similar for you all if you want to find one with a big white bow. I think this is just so cute, and it's perfect for spring and summer. So, so I guess that's it for today. I've rambled way too much, so I'm going to go ahead and go. And make sure you check out all my latest videos that will be linked at the end, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye, girls. Very lip colors, and I wanted more of a pink. I wanted a dark pink um, lip stain. This Sato cheek stain, I've had a lot of trouble with it as a cheek stain. 